Get your decade ahead horoscope for your sign at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Libra. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2019. Looking at life and love, I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now. And we have a sky that is making wonderful promises to you. Now the promises are an openness of mind, uh, new ideas, an awakening curiosity and a real sense of wanting to learn more. But here's the thing, we've also got a very active Neptune this month as well. In fact, it is Neptune that is uh, really part of uh, what is lending itself to a lot of confusion this month as well. Not only because Neptune will go retrograde, but because of how it is speaking to this month's new moon and full moon as well. And so while there may be a genuine desire to get information, know that all the information you receive now may not necessarily be accurate. However, a great way to use this energy is to tap into the power of imagination and tap into a spirit of belief that you are being guided and that your creativity, that your curiosity, that your mind is being guided towards answers that are gonna be meaningful to you. So let's start with the early part of the month. It is right around the third of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, that we will have this month's new moon. This new moon is happening in fellow air sign Gemini. So this is good for a few reasons. So one is that it's an air sign, which means you're able to tap into this energy to your advantage that much more. It is fellow air sign after all the other layer to this as well is that when we have important energy in an air sign it's like an area that is that much more meaningful to you that much more special to you now another layer to this is under the same sky we are going to have your ruling planet venus making a beautiful connection with pluto so transformation and empowerment and uh, the kind of truth that helps you to truly tap into your own power to be you is going to very much be a part of the vibes at this time. So this particular um, new moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with understanding your place in the world. It has to do with things like long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters and political matters as well. Now this new moon is making a challenging connection to Neptune as well. And this is why I am saying that uh, chances are the information that you are getting at this time or uh, the moves that you are making, they may or may not be what it is that is actually gonna be the most effective. Um, and the information you get may or may not be accurate as well. And I'm so sorry to say that, but the best course of action when I see energy like this is to go with the flow, to just surrender, to let life take you where it is that you are meant to be. And I would also add, it is not the time to initiate any kind of legal matter. It is not the time to uh, try to uh, take steps to even resolve a legal matter as well. This is the kind of month that says, just go with the flow. Just let it be what it needs to be uh, and take it one step at a time. When Neptune is involved like this, um, not only is inaccuracy a part of it, but sometimes with this energy can come a sense of certainty that isn't warranted, okay? Um, again, whether intentionally or not intentionally. Now, this, uh, the area is being highlighted this month as well, not only with the new moon, but the full moon that I'll dive into in just a moment. Both of these areas are also connected to being more known than you were before. With the full moon in the middle of the month having to do with media, especially local media attention, uh, with this new moon having more to do with things like publishing and larger publications, um, what it is that is being presented to you as what a particular opportunity could be or where you could go with it, 
um, it may or may not be actually the case. And I'm just seeing this energy being a little bit uh, connected to scandal. So if you are the one being scandalous, well, that's you tapping into this energy very much. Uh, but if it is not the case that that's not an intention that you have, then this could be a time to be a little bit mindful, whether it is sort of in a professional setting that you are stating what it is or, or sharing what it is that you are, or even a more personal setting as well. Uh, this can be a time when even what you are communicating can be misunderstood. And this is at play throughout this month for you in particular. Since I started mentioning that uh, full moon, let's go to that because that full moon can also speak to things like siblings, cousins, and neighbors in addition to communication, whether it's uh, formalized in terms of like media or whether it is more uh, personal in terms of your conversations with others. Again, that full moon is speaking in tension with Neptune, which says all may not be as it seems on the surface. The information that you get may not be accurate as well. Any kind of contracts that uh, may need to be looked at or documents that may need to be looked over, I would really encourage you to uh, create space to not do it around these particular time frames. Uh, you'll probably be glad for it, especially in the days right around that full moon in particular. Now, it is also possible that um, sibling, cousin, or neighbor has some news for you or is sharing something with you. It may not be the whole story, or it may be that there are some key things that are being left out. It could be that what is being shared with you is in some way not accurate intentionally or not. So these are some things to take into consideration. I would also say that sometimes with this dynamic, it can feel as if you're pouring a lot of energy towards one of these particular people, whether it is that you feel that they need it or they want it. Self-care is huge, right? Self-care is imperative if you are going to have anything to give. And that may be part of the lesson that shows up for you right around that full moon. Neptune itself is actually going to be standing still and go retro in a part of the sky for you that has to do with self-care as spiritual practice. It has to do with your health-related habits, and it has to do with your work-related habits as well. Um, what type of work you're doing and the people who surround you there. Again, an overall lack of clarity in these regards. If there are any health-related tests that you need to take, I would invite you to avoid that this month. Next month is a Mercury retrograde month as well. So as much as you can, just give it all a breather. Give it all just a breather, lay back where possible. But of course, if you need to do something, then you trust your circumstances and you see it through. Now, when it comes to matters of love this month, we are going to have Venus move into fellow air sign Gemini right around the 8th of the month and we'll be there right to the end of the month. And I am loving this energy for you. I can't even tell you how wonderful I think this is. This is going to be a huge saving grace for you. Now, of course, this won't only speak to matters of love as much as there is this confusing energy around the new moon. Given that Venus is moving into the part of the sky where the new moon is, well, chances are you'll be at least able to bring love into the mix uh, and bring a sense of heart into the mix as well. Now, whether it is love for the endeavor or the helpers or the, the particular initiative or whether it is romantic love that is part of this time, uh, this is going to help you to turn the tide more in your favor. But it is still going to be Venus speaking with Neptune as well, making some challenging alignments with other power players as she navigates this part of the sky. Now, for those of you who are open to meeting someone new, there is a sense now of an international love calling you, um, but it is very dreamy and what it seems may not be the reality. Now that means it could be better than you anticipate, but it is also the case that it may not. If there ever was a month for you to avoid things like online, getting together with people, connecting with people, um, this would be the month where that isn't the way to go for you. However, the energy is different. If you are considering uh, it's someone from your past that pops up, I mean, still, 
all may not be as it seems right away, but at least you're rooting the energy in a different area of the sky. But if it's someone brand new uh, and you are wanting to connect with, uh, then those online, those social media connections may just not be the way to go for you, at least not with a month like this. Now, what we also have for you, if you're open to meeting someone new, I would say that conversations can be particularly confusing and it is by meeting others and talking with others that it can almost be like there's more confusion than there would be if you hadn't said anything. Uh, so just keep that in mind and where it is that it feels like there are you know, uh, wires getting crossed or mixed messages, you can just create some space knowing that who is for you will find their way to you. Now, this is also true if you are getting to know someone, if you've just started dating someone, uh, this can be a time of a lot of mixed messages, whether it is the other person feeling that you're sending it, whether they're sending it. And this can be a time when it would probably be good if it feels like there is space being created between you and this person, to allow that space to be what it is that it needs to be. At the same time, stay open, take a philosophical approach where it comes to love, and you'll be able to use this time that much more wisely. Learn about love from a philosophical perspective because then you will have that much more to give when the tide changes. And for those of you who are in an established bond, um, you know, again, conversations can just make things more confusing. This is not the month to, uh, talk about things that are really important or to come to particular agreements, at least not yet. That time will come, it will be there, but at least for now, there is a lot of strength to be found, a lot of beauty to be found in allowing things to be what they need to for this moment. If you can just go with the flow, allow it to come together in its own time, you may find yourself having some truly insightful conversations with your partner and being changed in ways that you really do like. What I love about this month for you, well look, it's gotta be Venus moving through an air sign. As I said, this is a philosophical approach that is gonna grow, a love for philosophy. Um, essentially philosophy is a love for wisdom and that is gonna grow in you now. And that is gonna allow love of all kinds to find you, whether it is platonic love, familial love, romantic love as well. But more than that, it is the love of what more there is to explore that is gonna remind you that life truly is an adventure. And it's an adventure that you have a lot to look forward to. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month, enjoy.